Okay, video number two, and we're gonna go right off of the top of video number one. We noticed we had a really deep dive in the terrain slope right here off the building. So I'm actually gonna say that we've got a terraining wall here. Uh, excuse me, a terrain retaining wall. That's a good one. Terraining wall. <laughs> terrain retaining wall. I'm also gonna increase my overall lot size just a bit, pick up some of this additional data, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and convert a couple of these back to a polyline if they're not already. Looks like this is the one. Okay. And then we're going to use that same method to trim, right? So we're going to use a method to trim so that then we can get a terrain retaining wall in here. So I think that terrain retaining wall is going to come in here right about here. And let me just take this and grab it, drag it over here as well. And now we should be able to use that trim tool to kind of break this terrain up. Now notice it deleted the terrain on the right hand side. So let's go back a level. I don't want to do that. Now that's because I dismissed the dialog box. If we want to keep some additional stuff or not. Actually, I'm not sure that that's true. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy, paste, hold. And is that going to help us at all? Not at the moment, but I'm gonna drag this over some known dimension like 500 feet, and then I can take this, that trim, cut this up, and take that other data that's over here, 500 feet over, move it back in place, take this other side, that to, there we go. Now we've got our break for our terrain retaining wall that's gonna come in here. In my terrain tools, I want to make sure that I've got a straight retaining wall versus a straight terrain wall. So we want a straight retaining wall, okay? I'm going to say that this is right in here, just like this. Now let's take a look at what this looks like in 3D. I want to make sure that this um, that I made my cuts on the existing terrain far enough away that Chief can interpolate the data right here. So if we did a good job, it should be that we don't see any spikes. We've got retaining wall there we are like that so if we needed the top of this terrain retaining wall to be flat you're gonna have to put in that data and that's simple enough we can go ahead and we already know how to do this go ahead and we can just take a flat line here honestly so we've got a 1210 elevation marker there right that 1210 carries up to here so we can just take this convert this Elevation line. Let's go ahead and we'll do a 1210.5. Why not? Now let's take a look at what we've got here. Updates. There we go. We've got a flat retaining wall. Now, actually, it might be this is a much higher little section here. That might be that we need to edit this little length right here that drops below that retaining wall. It might be more accurate if this new retaining wall, right? So we would set this up to something like 12.12. And we'd have to pull back that 12 foot 10. We don't want too much of a spike. There's a 12.12. Now the next piece is that we might in fact drop this in. Kind of make some sense of this. And up. Update for that. We're getting some goofiness. Right underneath that. Now, a straight retaining wall actually um, takes into account and that for us actually has a terrain break incorporated in there. I think our 12.12 might have bumped up. There we go. That's more appropriate. Getting closer to that building. In fact, maybe it's a really big, right? Keep in mind with terrain, I have not spent so many hours that I'm infallible. First efforts might not be the right ones, but 
I think we are getting to the idea I had in mind, which is a very tall retaining wall here, retaining a lot of dirt that we're going to backfill because the slope is so steep on a flat area here. So that's it. That's looking good.